Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I have a beautiful book as you see in front of me. And uh, of course uh, I'm very inspired looking at this cover. And I'll show you uh, also inside is amazing. Look at these inside covers and uh, the hard cover is uh, green and embossed with these scissors. Uh, so when I received it, I loved it. So you will see today's project. I will create a canvas that will be similar in look and feel to this uh, book that I am inspired from. It's a new book that just uh, came out. So also I have good news. I will be doing an international giveaway to win this book and uh, all the conditions are down below at the description area and I will talk more about it at the end of the video anyway so if you're interested in uh, winning that book and uh, listening to what it is about more stay till the end and uh, we'll talk about it more I will start uh, doing some texture work with my uh, Tim Holtz uh, stencil it, it's called scribbles but uh, I always say it looks like roses to me so I'll pretend they are roses and uh, I'm going to use my light modeling paste from Liquitex and uh, do some texture work that will stay at the background I'm going to go around the edges by the way uh, I'm using a 6 by 6 canvas so it's 6 inches uh, by 6 inches so it's little uh, and I'm I want to decorate my house with this uh, little work. It is pre-gessoed so I don't need to do any gesso work. I can use my acrylic paints directly uh, which is great. As a next step uh, I'm going to have some chipboards. These are by Dusty Attic. It's called Wine Frame Set uh, and uh, it has different sizes of uh, these uh, beautiful frames. And I'm going to get the biggest one and uh, I'm going to cut it uh, in a size that will fit to my canvas. So here it is uh, as full and I'm going to use only one corner. So I'm just cutting it to fit into my uh, frame of my canvas. And as a color I'm going to make it gold. So I'm just uh, using my Versa mark uh, all over my chipboard and I'm going to use this gold embossing powder from WOW uh, you can use any gold emboss embossing powder that's out there I'm covering my chipboard quite well uh, enough to stick and then uh, I will just uh, heat set it with my heat gun I'm trying to be careful I'm using my heat gun over my glass mat uh, glass mat uh, is great uh, for these purposes. Uh, it's not affected by this uh, heat gun. Uh, uh, if it was a craft mat, uh, it would definitely be ruined uh, with a heat gun. So just be careful. Now I want to do some uh, stamping because I want to have a lot of leaves. Uh, I have this stamp set. Uh, it's the original packaging. There's no brand or anything. So I'm guessing... Uh, I stumbled upon it in a local, local craft store or something like that. Uh, it doesn't matter, you can use what uh, leaves you have. There are a lot of leaf uh, stamps out there as well. So I will uh, gold emboss these as well. Uh, that's why I'm using my Versamark. And I'm going to stamp it several times because I want to have a lot of leaves. Uh, and it will be one of those times that I will be doing a lot of fussy cutting. Uh, the lucky ones who have uh, leaf dies uh, can use their dies uh, which will make life much easier. And I will be using uh, the same gold embossing powder uh, to uh, emboss uh, all these leaves. While I do that I can shortly tell you uh, you need to uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video. Also leave a comment down below to join the giveaway for that gorgeous book, The Confessions of Franny Langton. Any information about the deadlines and uh, how the winner will be selected and how it's going to be announced will be down at the description area. So please refer there when you have any questions. 
After I emboss these leaves, I'm going to cover all of them with matte medium because I want to use my Faber-Castell brush markers uh, to color them easily. I don't want to lose a lot of time with it. Uh, this is one of the easiest ways, uh, quickest ways. I could use my Distress inks as well, but uh, probably this is easier for me. I'm uh, using shades of greens, uh, generally tones of olive greens. Uh, and I'll just uh, smear it easily uh, to my uh, leaves. I don't care if it goes uh, out because I'm going to cut it. Uh, and uh, I will also shade it with uh, darker tones after I uh, color them with one uh, lighter tone. These pans uh, are very easy to use because uh, if you use them over a non-porous uh, surface, uh, which uh, is why I used matte medium to cover uh, all these leaves so that they became non-porous, uh, you can smear them with your finger uh, for a while a few seconds after you use them so it makes it uh, very easy as a coloring medium uh, for art journals as you see I'm using the darker tones uh, in just one spot and then I'm smearing it with my finger which makes these leaves come to life more uh, have more interest and more, look more natural and after that uh, I spent uh, a lot of time to fussy cut all of them and uh, I'm using this dark green uh, marker on the edges of it as well. I don't want to leave them white because uh, they will be showing. Uh, so uh, that's a little detail. I have my acrylic paints uh, next to me and I'm going to select the tones of uh, red to give uh, color to my background too. Here I'm going with uh, the contrast of red and green like it is on the book cover. And also it's, uh, it has gorgeous gold. So these are the three colors that I'm playing with. I used some uh, combination of reds, but I think I need a darker one. So I took also a darker one. Here it doesn't matter which brands you are using. I'm using Arteza, but you can use what you have. It's just important to have lighter and uh, darker tones uh, so that your canvas doesn't look flat. Uh, so I'm using lighter and lighter in the middle and darker and darker on the edges. This way uh, the shape of the roses come to life as well. And you will see that I will even use black because I'm not happy with how dark this uh, red is. So I'll be brave and uh, use uh, a little bit black. I can always go over it with the dark uh, red and make the effect uh, less dramatic. So I don't worry. And uh, I'm not worried with ac acrylics anyway. There is always gesso. When you put gesso it all covers it and you can put uh, whatever color you want afterwards. Until I am satisfied I'm just uh, going with lighter and darker tones. So back and forth, back and forth, blending it. Uh, until I have a result that I'm happy with. If you want to watch this process slower, this is now four times uh, faster, uh, you can click on the right bottom, uh, there is an option. Uh, you can watch it uh, real time, making it slower or as slow as you want. As you see, now there is a decent shadow and it doesn't look so black, so I'm happy with it. Now it's time to stick my uh, leaves this uh, chipboard beautiful uh, detail and uh, I'm going to stick it to this side with uh, just the glue and then I will stick my leaves uh, all around this I'm using glue again this uh, glues uh, will dry clear that's what matters uh, if you are using glue just uh, Make sure that it's the glue that dries clear, not white. So I'll just uh, uh, decorate my uh, vine leaves with these leaves that I cut myself. Uh, so that uh, we have like a composition. Uh, after I stick the leaves, I will also have flowers. I won't bore you so much with uh, leaf uh, gluing. Uh, so I will uh, fast forward to the moment that I finish with it. As you see, I was very generous with my uh, with the amount of leaves. Now I'm going to uh, glue some flowers. 
Uh, I'm going to use orange, yellow and red uh, flowers that I have in my stash. Some of these flowers uh, are gifted to me by uh, a crafty friend. Some of them I bought on Amazon, uh, just the regular uh, flowers. Uh, every now and then I uh, buy white generally because then I can color them. Uh, but some uh, basic colors like yellow, red, pink uh, to keep in my stash and uh, it's very useful uh, afterwards when you need to use them. So I made a nice composition at the right corner of my uh, canvas which looks uh, really nice. I love it. It goes with the spirit of uh, spring when uh, all colors come out. And I am going to do the same on the uh, up left, upper left corner, but I am going to do a smaller one. I will also stick some leaves and I am not going to use this chipboard. Uh, I want this balance, uh, the focal point and the focus to be on the right side. Uh, this unbalance is actually uh, very good. It makes things more interesting. After I'm happy with this composition, I also uh, splattered some gold uh, acrylic paint after I water it down uh, because there is gold. Um, and uh, I found this uh, natural twine uh, in my stash uh, and I had an idea. Uh, so I'm coloring it with uh, an olive green uh, acrylic paint and I'm going to uh, put it uh, all around uh, the wine you will see in a minute now that this is dry uh, I will just uh, swirl it all around you will see it will be a nice detail uh, and uh, it's another medium so it, uh, it adds a nice detail I love digging my stash and finding things uh, that could be used in uh, canvas projects like this that I can add uh, as much uh, dimension as I want. It's uh, one of these rare moments that we can put whatever we want and uh, we are not scared of closing the notebooks that uh, we usually work on for art journaling. Whenever I cannot reach the point to twirl it, uh, you will see I will cut it uh, in a place that's not visible and then I'll just glue it there. Uh, in reality it will look like it all continues uh, but we know that we cut it and how lucky it is that I found these scissors uh, in my stash as well among the metal embellishments and these uh, little ladybugs this can be one of my favorite projects that I made uh, it really gave me a lot of happiness because the colors are so vibrant uh, and red is actually not a color I use a lot, especially dominantly. But uh, I think I will make peace with it and try to use it more. I'll just twirl my uh, twine uh, around this area as well. And uh, it's not the same uh, way. In, in the other we have the chipboard. Here there is not, but uh, we can make it uh, look like it's a... Com it's a an extension of the other. I'm just trying to see uh, how it will look the best and I'm sticking the uh, twine according to that and as you see it looks like a continuous uh, thing and after that uh, the only thing left is to stick this beautiful vintage uh, scissors uh, that's also on the cover of the book. Nobody will know why there is scissors in the middle of this canvas but I just love the look so I'll stick it anyway. So that's it for today. Uh, I really love this. It's so vibrant and for sure it will take a place in my library. Together with the book, uh, I will put a picture at the end of the video. So don't forget to check it out. Now coming to this beautiful book and how to join the giveaway. You need to subscribe to my channel, like and uh, leave a comment down below. The uh, Penguin Publishers will send the book directly. So uh, you should be also comfortable giving your details to them. I will announce the winner on 18th of April. So don't forget to check your comments. I will leave you a reply to email me your address. All other conditions are down below at the description area. And to learn more about this book, uh, it's a historical fiction, an amazing one. The story is set in uh, 1826 in London when we see Franny uh, st stand for trial for murdering uh, the owners of the house that she was working for. 
but at that point we don't know if she did it or uh, who is she so we go back in time uh, to Jamaica uh, when she starts to tell her own story so it has a history mystery uh, and everything I would really recommend it and uh, here is how I decorated my house uh, together with the book I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and the project don't forget to join the giveaway to win this gorgeous book and see you next time.